Hello guys, welcome back to Jasmine Media. This is your weekly recap of the top K-pop and K-drama news. Today we have a lot to talk about. From Blackpink Lisa achieving new world records to BTS members appointed as special presidential envoys. But before we start, I just wanted to remind you guys to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And without further ado, let's begin with our first story. YouTube confirms Blackpink Lisa has set a new record as the most watched soloist MV in the first 24 hours. On September 10, Lisa finally made her highly anticipated solo debut releasing her first single album La Lisa and its title track of the same name. According to the initial count, 24 hours after its release, the music video achieved 70 million views on YouTube. Fans have been waiting for YouTube to confirm the actual views count. On September 14, a source from YouTube confirmed that Blackpink Lisa, La Lisa and V recorded 73.6 million, 3.6 million views more than what fans have seen. This means that Lisa has set a new world record as the most watched MV for a solo artist in the first 24 hours on YouTube. The previous record was held by Taylor Swift's 2019 hit, Me, which recorded 75.2 million in the first 24 hours. Lisa's solo debut has also topped iTunes charts in more than 60 regions around the world. Congratulations to Lisa for her successful solo debut. And also congratulations to Blackpink Rosé and CL for becoming the first ever K-pop female artist to attend the Met Gala. The 2021 Met Gala was held on September 13 at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in New York City. The event is held yearly and is considered one of the biggest fashion events of the year. It attracts attention from fans all around the world. Last year's gala was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, while this year's was held four months later. The theme of the 2021 Met Gala was in America, a lexicon of fashion. Blackpink Rosé attended the 2021 Met Gala as the global ambassador of San Loro, alongside the brand's creative director Anthony Vaccarello. She wore a black and white customized San Loro dress, while CL wore a unique fusion dress that combined the American denim texture with the features of a Korean handbook. The two idols are the first ever female K-pop artist to attend the fashion event. Speaking about the first, BTS has officially become the first artist in the pop culture industry to be appointed as a special envoy in South Korea. On the morning of September 14, the BTS members visited the Blue House to be officially appointed as a special presidential envoy. The boys wore formal black suits and reunited with the South Korean president for the first time in almost one year. President Moon Jae-in presented each BTS member with a certificate of appointment, a diplomatic passport and a fountain pen. Back in July, it was officially announced that BTS will be appointed as special presidential envoys for future generations and culture. BTS members will accompany the president as his diplomatic envoys for a trip to the US from September 19 to 23. They will attend the 76th United Nations General Assembly as honorary speakers, delivering a message of hope to youth around the world. Moving to our last story, B.I.'s drug case verdict is finally out. On September 10, B.I. attended the sentencing trial regarding his drug case at Seoul Center District Court. Previously, he was indicted in May on the suspicion of purchasing marijuana and LSD in 2016 and using some of the drugs. The prosecution requested a three-year sentence in prison and a fine of 1.5 million won, which is approximately $1,300 for B.I. At today's trial, the court sentenced B.I. to three years in prison, suspended for four years of probation, 80 hours of community service, 40 hours of a drug treatment course, and a fine of 1.5 million won. The court stated that what B.I. has done cannot be a crime that happened due to curiosity, followed by, celebrity drug usage has a great impact on society. What do you think of this? Do you think the verdict that B.I. got is fair? Leave your comments below. And that's all we have for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.